What's up guys, welcome back, so welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I got some exciting news and also um, some, some realistic news, some real stuff here. First thing I want to mention is shout out to everyone that commented on SSR Auto Body's latest post. Literally, as soon as they posted it, I checked, refreshed like two hours later to see how many of you guys actually went to SSR Auto Body, and I noticed that they actually disabled the comments. When I saw them disabling the comments, I reached out to the owner of SSR Auto Body, and I was like, hey bro, what's going on? You guys disabled the comments, my, my family's trying to show some love, and he was like, yo, what, I mean, what's going on? So he reached out to the team that runs that side. This is what they responded with. So yeah, long story short, they literally thought they were getting spammed, which feels so 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 good shout out to all you guys for supporting me and just helping my dreams come true i really want to get this car painted at a proper shop and i'm hoping 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 we can work something out but we did get their attention as soon as this stuff gets done guys we're literally going to be taking another trip down to la my favorite oh my god i love going down to la i love going to irvine i love heading to ssr auto body it's like you make a whole trip out of it ssr performance whenever i take my cars down there i drop it off and get some amazing work done there i got rod bearings done over there i got crank hubs done over there uh, actually multiple crank hubs multiple raw bearings and I've done uh, paint jobs out there at SSR Auto Body. Again, I absolutely love the family over there. They're great people. I love the fact that I can actually film my work getting done. That's something that I have to get more used to as well. I don't normally ask the shops that I go to if it's okay for me to film. Um, and the guy that honestly I take a lot of my body and you know my car to get body work done at, I never ever ever ask if I can film there. I just feel uncomfortable. But the thing is about social media, you have to get outside of your comfort zone to be able to learn things. And I wanna learn how to do auto body to like the fullest extent. So I need to be able to go there, experience it, record it, and uh, just, just, I need to be more open. I have to get out of my comfort zone. I mean, I'm sure you guys know what I mean. It's hard, it's hard, but uh, it'll definitely be worth it. But yeah, anywho, uh, they went ahead and reopened uh, the comments on there. Unfortunately, it did delete all of you guys that commented before, and then uh, pretty much all the new comments started populating as the, you know, more and more you guys actually went over there. Um, I wish all of them were there. I think we, like, almost over a hundred of you guys went over there. So, um, again, truly appreciate you guys. You guys are the ones that are helping my life um, and helping my dream. So I truly appreciate you guys. That's actually one of the reasons why I'm trying to start up this business is not only for me, and I'm obviously trying to be more successful for myself and build myself, but ultimately, um, it's gonna be able to help out a lot of you guys because I wanna offer you guys something um, that no other shop in this field can do for you guys. So um, that's something I'm working on. That's something that I'm very passionate about. That's something I honestly, I've been kind of doing for the past five years um, to like a very, very low scale. So again, once we actually get this shop, it's gonna be very, very, very exciting. So uh, that kind of actually brings over our next topic, which is gonna have to be the shop. I mean, where is the shop at, Nor? You're not getting the R8, obviously. You said you're gonna get a shop, you're gonna start a business, so where is it, right? Where is it? So basically, um, I found a shop. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a video right over here. You guys can check out the shop. Basically, long story short, uh, I went over there, checked it out. Uh, it was zoned properly for the work I was trying to do. At least I thought it was zoned. It had an extra S in the end of the zoning. Um, I just figured the S didn't really mean much because it had the, the main two letters for the zoning that I needed for me to get my license and whatnot. But long story short, after actually checking out the place and I really, really, really did enjoy it, um, you know, it, it had a big office, it had a big warehouse. It wasn't as big as I would have wanted it, but for the money, you know, I gotta, I gotta start on a budget. I'm not gonna try to go, I don't wanna go too, too, too big and not be able to afford the monthly expenses. So uh, long story short, this shop was honestly really good for me. It was in a really nice location. So I was very, very, very happy with it. It was literally only a 15 minute drive from my house as well. So everything was kind of going hand in dandy. I actually told them to send me over the contract. I already sent my credit report in. So after submitting all that stuff, I wanted to play a little bit safe so I called Veronica a good friend of mine that works at the DMV office that's actually helping me get my business corporation started and my business licenses started um, I called there and I was like hey here's the location here's the address here's the zoning I just want to double make sure um, can we actually run this business from this location and she's like um, based off from what I'm seeing which is the same thing I'm seeing it looks like you can but just to double check before you sign a lease because any like any industrial shop that allows automotive stuff um, requires a three-year lease and a three-year lease guys um, the monthly payment payments is more than my mortgage. It's kind of a scary thing. And the thing is, I'm gonna be honest, if you don't have all the money or at least a lot of money up front to start something like this for a three year lease, you do not wanna get yourself caught up in something like that. That is some heavy and risky stuff right here. But for me, I've been working the past five years to get this big chunk of change that instead of throwing it on a car, I can actually help make something out of myself and build something. This is why, you know, again, I'm very passionate, very excited. I, am, I, I cannot wait to get the shop, guys. As I'm telling you guys, nonstop content, uh, nonstop things to do. We're gonna be surrounded with BMWs. There's just gonna be 
It's gonna be definitely an amazing atmosphere and I'm just super excited for it. Plus all my friends are gonna come over to a place we'll have a place to hang out um, and do things. So again, it's very important for me and I'm very excited for that. But uh, long story short, uh, Veronica was like, yo, let's just go ahead and grab this address and send it over to the city of Sacramento, which is where I'm from. And long story short, uh, I got an email back, not even 30 minutes later, she tagged me, she CC'd me, she emailed them and got back to me and they said, this location requires you to file for a permit with the state that's about a four to six month process. I think it was like three to six or four to six month process and a $15,000 fee um, just to get the, the area reappraised or revalued to see if it's allowed that that kind of work can be done at that location. So long story short, that basically means that that location does not actually allow what I'm doing in the first place. That S really changes everything. So I'm just so, so, so thankful because they sent over the contract the same morning. And when I got the contract, I was this close to signing because I was so excited to get the shop. To, I, I wanted to finish up everything really quickly so I can get into the shop and just start making content. So I was not thinking rationally, but thank the Lord. I mean, somehow um, I got the email in time and basically after seeing that, I'm not paying $15,000 uh, to permit a place that I'm renting. It doesn't make any sense. If it's my own property, I don't mind paying the 15 grand to permit my property. But um, considering I'm, it's a place I'm renting and you know that only benefits the, the, the shop owner, um, there's just no benefit for me personally. Now, if you guys look at the title, there's gonna be possibly a word scam somewhere in there, either the thumbnail or title, or if not, whatever. But basically, um, I almost pretty much got scammed. I'm pretty much signing a three-year lease contract. I mean, obviously, um, you should read the fine print and stuff like that, but I asked them on the condition that I can conduct this particular business here. Um, I do wanna make sure that you know I can actually do this kind of business here or I'm not gonna benefit from this property. And I asked them, is this zoning okay for this particular property. I'm not gonna mention who it is and any of that stuff, uh, but long story short, uh, he said, yeah, should allow this zoning, should have no issues. We have some other automotive people over here as well. Um, so yeah, long story short, I actually messaged him right after uh, getting that email that this this area is not permitted, so we're, unfortunately, we're not gonna go through with this property. He kept on insisting and in trying to convince me to get this one um, as a startup business. It's not gonna matter if you have your license and your permits, you can just run it from the shop and whatever happens, happens. And you know, if you do have issues, you can deal with it then. And I'm not gonna lie, that made me feel really uncomfortable because like, again, I'm, I'm still messaging him. I'm like, if you can find me another shop with the proper zoning, I'll go for it. But the fact that he was being very, very, very persistent on me to sign this one and only this one is just very, very, very uncomfortable for me. Cause I'm just like, why are you forcing me to sign this one and saying everything's gonna be okay? It's just, you're not looking out for my best interest. End of the day, I mean, obviously everyone's trying to get their paychecks. Everyone's trying to get their commission. But end of the day, like it's just kind of wrong to sign someone up for a three year lease. And you know that it's gonna be very difficult for them to even make money from it. Like unless, you know, they have some other intentions that's not holy. But anyway, long story short, um, I am still in contact with them and it could have been a misunderstanding. I don't really know the whole situation with that. I barely know the guy. So yeah, long story short, I did ask him if you do find any more properties that are this specific zone, I just have to double check myself. And as, and as long as I do my due diligence, uh, I think everything should be fine and I'm gonna, you know, get a shot. But yeah, it's been fairly stressful, not gonna lie guys. And uh, you know, I'm actually gonna, been doing phone calls after phone calls after phone calls. That's why I actually got to even see a shop um, that's possibly close to what I want. But guys, I'm not gonna lie when I say it is so, so, so stressful, the amount of phone calls I had to make and I still haven't even gotten a shop yet. It is so difficult. I mean, there's so many shops out there, but to get the proper zoning is the hardest thing in the world. I can't even, I can't even express how hard it is. But that is the whole reason for this video. I kinda wanna keep you guys posted throughout this entire journey of getting the business, getting my licenses, getting my permits, and getting the shop. So I'm gonna kinda give you guys an accurate time frame. You know, I started last week submitting my corporation paperwork. Um, so long story short, I mean, like we're only a week in so far. We're looking at some shops. We're trying to make things happen. Again, I'll keep you guys posted. As far as the wagon build goes, um, definitely this is gonna be the only primary project we're gonna have right now. I really wanna get this thing fully dialed in. We're talking the full interior. We're talking exterior, everything by like, hopefully in a month or two max, like fully painted and everything. Wider quarter panels, rear bumper conversion. So this is gonna be the primary project, but I'm also thinking about bringing in another project into the channel just so um, it's not gonna be just updates in E91 M3 content. Let me know down below guys. Uh, what other builds you guys want to see on this channel. But if you guys look over here, I kind of want to do something on this scale that we haven't really done yet. I'm pretty much done uh, for the most part with M3s. Um, I'm pretty much done with M4s. I had my gray one and my wife's uh, white one. I'm done pretty much with the one series unless we do like a 1M build or something crazy like that. I'm done with the three series for sure. I'm done with the six series. Uh, I mean, we have a few other cars we need to do and knock out on this. I mean, when I say a few, we got a lot because um, we did, we pretty much stick to three series here. Like I love the three series. I think it's one of the best cars that BMW's ever made. I think it holds the value the best. I think it's the best, you know, in terms of reliability and a bunch of other things, but not to get off track with that. Let me know what other builds you guys want to see on the channel. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, I'll show you guys business updates and I show you guys
guys. E91 M3 updates and uh, trying to get a shop. I'm also gonna be looking for a new build for you guys because I wanna be able to upload more. I wanna be able to upload more and I don't wanna keep you guys waiting. So yeah guys, that is gonna have to conclude today's video. Um, the reason I'm doing push-ups right now is for uh, nothing at all. I mean, honestly, I just need to get a little bit more productive and uh, focus on my health and just focus on a lot of things. Like, my mind's all over the place. But, uh, but yeah, the reason I'm doing these push-ups really is because I ran out of uh, positions to film. <laughs> doing these talking videos can get a little bit boring. So um, this, I think, is a little more interesting and uh, I'm about to run out of air. So I'm gonna go ahead and conclude the video, guys. I love you all so much. I'll keep you guys uh, posted and informed as time goes on. <laughs> yeah, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. <laughs>